So I was talking about this with someone, and something I said something, and it occurred to me that I don't know that I've said it before. But this claim that the rational numbers are closed under division, I don't understand what the hell they're talking about. Because it's obviously not, right? Closure is where you can take any two numbers in the set, apply this operation, and the result is always within the set. Division by zero does not do this. Division by zero does not give you back a rational value, or a real value if you're in this, or a complex value, or an algebraic value. It doesn't do that. Division by zero doesn't do this. So if zero is part of these sets, none of them are closed under division. And there's no escaping this. What the fuck? Like, uh, there's zero. Treating zero as a number, treating zero as a member of these this category of things, right? So zero, saying that zero belongs to the set of numbers, it's just nonsense. It doesn't make any sense. Zero has no dimension, but every dimension has zero. Numbers have dimension. But not all dimensions have every number. <laughs> Numbers are what you count by. You don't count starting at zero. You don't say it. It's something different. Okay. You can't divide by zero. And division of zero behaves fundamentally different than division of any other value. Right? It's unclear whether zero, saying zero is both real and imaginary makes sense because in order to define a complex number, in order to, you need to have the two coordinates. So the reals, as a subset of the complex numbers, require there to be a distinct imaginary zero. And the imaginaries, as a subset of the complex values, require a distinct real zero. So you can't, you can't have both, right? And then you have problems like, well, we, you pretty much usually just treat zero as a placeholder. We'll casually treat it as a placeholder. And when convenient, just completely ignore it, right? We'll say, that's something with an infinite repeating string of zeros after it in its decimal expansion, or any other expansion, honestly, terminates. When that's not really what's happening. It is an infinite repeated exp uh, expression, just the same as like one third is in decimal, right? 0 0.3 repeating. One is 1.0 repeating. Right. So there's all of this neglect, like, about, well, we're going to treat it as a number, but we're not going to treat it as a number. It's like, we cherry pick. When it's a convenient for us, we'll call it a number. When it's inconvenient for us, we'll just forget that we said that it was a number. And that happens, it seems to happen across the board. Because when you get paradoxes with zero, they're just ignored. Right? This closure under division obviously is ignoring zero. Obviously, we're not treating it as value as part of these sets when we say that these are closed under division because when you divide by zero, it's not closed. It's clearly not closed. Right? The note here, closed under addition, <coughs> multiplication, subtraction, or division means the sum, product, difference, or quotient of any two numbers in the set is also in the set. Okay? So, um, 0 divided by 0, what is that? 8 is undefinable. It can be any value, which would be in the set. It can be every value, which is also in the set. 
or it can be no value at all, which is not in the set. Division by zero is not closed. It's not a closed operation for the rational reals algebraics or complex or transcendental or like any other set of, of these guys. <laughs> it it doesn't work. This is nonsense. Why is this what everyone believes? It's not hard. This is like debunking stories about God. This is not hard to see. You just have to like stop and be like, wait. I'm supposed to believe what now? That's all you have to do. Just stop and think about it. Like, this doesn't even make sense. This, is n this isn't true. There is no closure under division for any set of numbers that includes zero. Ironically, <laughs> the natural numbers without zero have the best chance of this happening. Because for all of the others, you're assuming zero, you're always assuming zero is part of it, right? So you'd have to completely, like, what is the integers without zero? Is there a name for that? There should be. There really should be. Because when you try to define the rationals with respect to the integers using division, you have to make the special case that the denominator is not zero. Which, it's interesting that we have these two versions of the natural numbers. One of them has zero and one of them doesn't have zero. But we don't have the corresponding two versions of integers where one of them, right? The integers always have zero, even though this doesn't make sense. Because if the natural numbers can lack zero and the integers include zero, but the integer is an extension of the natural numbers because it includes the negatives of the natural numbers, then where did zero come from? if our natural numbers don't have zero. That doesn't make sense. Why isn't there a name for the group of numbers, the group of values, that would be the integers without zero? Like, by the time you're trying to set up the rationals, this is immediately, obviously, necessary. Or like, when you try to when you try to define the rationals as integer divided by integer except no that, that bottom number can't be a zero it's obvious you fucked up already but nobody stopped and was like oh well, let's fix this everyone just barreled ahead and like ah keep going and then you're like yeah the rationals are closed under division what you have to make a caveat when you're defining the rationals that you can't divide by zero. Zero is in the set of rationals. What are you doing? What is this shit? Why is it this ridiculously broken? Holy fuck. What in the hell? <laughs> 